Today I'm going to show you how to capture hexadecimal key codes from a remote and send them via Bluetooth to a file so that you can take those key codes, hexadecimal key codes, and use that information to build a sketch that will then transmit those key codes to an IR device such as a TV or something like that. So the first half of this is getting the key codes off your remote. And in order to do that, I use the sketch that's readily available called iRelay, IR Relay. Uh, it comes in a library routine that you can download. It's, uh, uh, it's all open source. Uh, it actually does two functions. I only want the function that reports the key code hexadecimal key codes for the remote. So in order to do that, I had to come down here and look for where it asks for unknown codes. And what I did is I, sent, I set up an if statement around this processing block so that I don't get this data sent to my text file because it will be unnecessary information. Up above, up here at the top, I commented out the line for the unknown key code uh, where it says could not detect the message. I don't need to know that information. I've already uh, tested this and um, when I build the file, I don't want all this extra stuff I have to uh, edit out. So once you've uploaded this sketch to the Arduino, you then open up HyperTerminal, and that's what I use to communicate with um, the Bluetooth. And you'll see here the Bluetooth is flashing, and you'll see that we're disconnected down here. I have a Bluetooth COM6 profile already written. So we open that and we go up to transfer, capture text. I've created an IR output file and we say start. Now all the data that I press, each key that I press on the remote will get transferred via Bluetooth to this file, to the screen, which will then be captured to a file. So we aim it close. There's power button, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero, volume up, volume down, mute, channel up, channel down, up arrow, right arrow, down arrow, left arrow, okay, return, exit. Now that's all I want. So then I go to transfer, capture text, stop recording. It has now built that file on the desktop called IR output text. I open this up and here's all the data that it created. Now the important part, and we'll just use the very first one right here, up here in the front, up here in the corner, was the first button I pressed was a power button. And you'll see that it decoded it as NEC 40 capital B capital E 629 and the letter D 32 bits. What's important about this is this portion only 40BE 629D is the code for the power button. So if you write a case statement and you say case this code then print power button pressed. That's the code you use and it will be captured by the, by the infrared sensor. Something to note, this code right here was the second button I, pre I pressed, which was the number one. And you'll notice that both of these numbers are um, similar. They both start with 40BE. And so does the number button, the number one, four, 
zero BE. That's the pre-data. You'll notice that all the buttons I pressed have four zero BE starting. So that's good to note because you want to make sure that all the buttons you pressed, not only are they, in this case, mine's an NEC, but they start with the same pre-data. So here we are with a captured output text file from the remote for the TV. Um, you'll note that there's a lot of duplicate information in this file, such as the type of transmitter it is or uh, remote that it is. Also, the raw data is uh, repeated over and over and over. Um, so um, all we really need is this information. So when I create a new one, I would just have just the information concerning um, the, the, the hexadecimal code there. You don't really need anything else. So that being said, let's uh, take a look at the code and where you get that. If you go to your Arduino IDE and you go to File, you go to Examples, down here, whoops, down, let's try that again, down here to IR Remote, and then you do IR Relay, and that's the code you use. Now, there's a lot of stuff here you don't need. Uh, there's a whole block here. Like I said, you don't need to collect the NEC information over and over and over. All you need is the 16, is the hex digit code for each of the keys or buttons that you press. So let's take a look. Here's the actual code um, in Notepad Plus because I can kind of crush down the, uh, or reduce down the, the code so it's a little bit easier to see what you really need to do. Um, here's all the stuff that you, you bring in the IR remote um, uh, library right here. Um, you set the pins up. Uh, before you get into the setup, the void setup even, you create a, a void dump. And that allows you to dump all the codes and it determines if it's an NEC or a Sony and continues to build that huge file. Well, a lot of this you don't need to do because it doesn't help you with controlling the TV. It just tells you the remotes uh, type. So you don't really need all that. And I don't care if it's if the message is unknown or not, so I don't even check for that. So basically, uh, this uh, 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 raw decimal information, I don't think you really need that uh, either for the most part. Um, you do need this uh, uh, information down here, um, I think. You, know, you might have to check that, but I believe you do need that to get the actual hexadecimal um, NEC code for the, for the the remote transmits. Down here is the setup. It basically just um, sets up the serial uh, receive in, uh, sets up, uh, starts the receiver. Um, and then you go down into the void loop, and this is where it just goes around and around. It basically um, uh, gets a value, waits, uh, says it got a value, it got a value, and then receives the next value. Um, this line right here is one that keeps going back up to reference the void dump, which is up here. Um, doing most of the work. So if you minimize this void dump, you can reduce a lot of the output that you get here. Um, so that being said, that's basically it. Um, I hope that this uh, video has been helpful and please comment and share with your friends. Um, this is uh, the first part of a two part. I will also, I also have a second part that is the transmission part. So thanks for watching.